Life Hacker reader Albert Peters says, it took me until my early 20s to learn how to read an analog clock, and it's still very difficult. Albert, that's okay. We're gonna teach you right now, before the big hand hits the three. And I promise by the end of this, you will get that reference. First, let's get to know the clock face. We have the numbers one to 12 in a circle with four little lines between each of them, then a long hand, a short hand, and sometimes a long skinny hand to represent seconds. First, hours. There are 24 hours in a day, but the clock doesn't tell you whether it's AM or PM. You're gonna have to look where the sun is. The small hand is the hour hand, and the current hour is the number that the small hand last went past. It could be very close to 11, but it is not 11 o'clock until the little hand crosses the marker for 11. So, if you glance at the clock, you can immediately know within an hour what time it is just from the hour hand. Now, the long hand is for minutes. There are 60 minutes in an hour, 12 times five is 60, so whichever number the long hand is pointing to, you could multiply by five to get the exact minute. So if the big hand is right by the four, and you know four times five is 20, so it's whatever hour and 20 minutes. Don't worry, nobody does this. Instead of numbers, just know your four anchor points. The 12, the three, the six, and the nine. And those are 15 minute increments. Zero, or a clock, 15, 30, and 45. So here's your hack. Just estimate about how far between those benchmarks you are. Is it somewhere between the six and the nine? That means it's between 30 and 45. Call it 342. If you're looking at an analog clock, that's usually all you need is a rough estimate. If you need to know the precise minute, pull out your phone. No one's gonna judge you. If you need more super basic life skills, subscribe to Lifehacker. We got more of these coming.